I've always said, like everyone who ever leaves a negative comment and people rush to protect me, I've always said, don't worry about me. I have been able to bounce back from so many things, which most women do by the time you get to my age. You have a sort of armour about you. I know. I know, I know, we're amazed, Mert. We're making history here. We are cooking. We are cooking. This oven is going to be turned on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right. So, yes, indeed, we are going to be making history. In fact, we are going to be cooking in my galley kitchen right in the heart of London because I am working with Oatly and these people, they give you so much freedom to work with them. As you know, all of you who follow me every single week, I have just got a coffee machine, as you see, and the reason is I love frothy coffee. I love cappuccino. And as so many of you left uh, messages, comments under the comments last week, asking, how do I make the cappuccino frothy? Because I don't drink dairy. I don't drink dairy because I have genetically inherited high cholesterol. In fact, it is, I keep it low. But um, if I didn't watch what I ate, I would have very high cholesterol because my mum has high cholesterol. She's 97, so she's living with it, but it's genetic. So I don't drink dairy. So I've always drunk oat, and this is the oat drink I have. So Oatly reached out to me and said, can you swap dairy for Oatly in any of the recipes you cook? You know, I know, I don't cook, I don't cook. I have one recipe that I have used from my mum's recipe book that I have brought with me to every flat I've lived in in London for macaroni cheese. But it's all in um, large amounts. It's for a family of four, which we were, but I live alone. So I'm gonna make this. I am gonna swap dairy for Oatly. Oatly, as you know, is made from oats and it has added vitamins, which I think is wonderful. So, um, yeah, this is her. Now, the problem is, as you know, Mert, she's gone, she's given up, she doesn't even want to watch this. As you know, I have almost no cooking utensils. I have two saucepans. I have one spoon and um, that is it really. Oh, my oven as you all know, keeps my skirt in it because, I don't know if you can see this, my cashmere skirt I keep in my oven. Put that over there. Right, we're going to start cooking. Mert, we're going to start cooking. So, um, this is what I need for my macaroni, according to my mother's old recipe. So, uh, plain flour, uh, macaroni, butter, obviously oatly, and grated cheddar cheese. Right. <laughs> they even have, they even have a little ditty. <laughs> I'm going to play the ditty near, now. This is the ditty for Can You Swap for Oatly. Have a listen to this. They tried Oatly in place of dairy in their favourite recipe. Will it swap? Will it swap? Let's see. And when I say they are so lovely to work with, they said, look, do it honestly, do it authentically. If it doesn't work, show it. So, right, let's just get this camera right. I, as I say, Philippe, you may have to do a couple of time lapses. They say preheat the oven, preheat the oven to 200. There we go. Oh, the oven light is on. There, nice clean oven. Never really ever been used. So, um, right, here we go. Fill a pan of water and boil the macaroni. Right, okay, pan of water. Bring that to boil. 
I do not measure anything. I only have two saucepans, so thank heavens. But I do have two macaroni dishes. Because if this works, I'm gonna save one and I'm gonna put one in the freezer. Okay, can you freeze macaroni? We will find out. Um, so, that is going on to boil. Meanwhile, I'm going to start making the sauce. Or maybe it's too early. Do I start making the sauce? Hold on. Okay, cut, Philippe. Come back in a minute. So, now I'm going to make the sauce. This is the interesting bit. So, melting butter, again as I say, don't use quantities. Maybe you want to use a time lapse, Philippe? This is the money shot. This is where usually I would add milk, but I am adding, turn this up, oatly. And I actually love the um, whole oatly. So, um, yeah, I have the real thing. Here we go. No lumps, no curdling. Very, very impressed. Now I'm adding the grated cheese. Oh, and now Madam's come in to have a look. What is it? What are you looking for? You're keeping an eye on us. You're keeping an eye on us. I know, you've never seen me cook, have you, in this... Oh, the oven... Look, Myrtle, oven on. Oh, oh, she's had enough. Now I put the macaroni into the two dishes. On there, on there. Myrtle, oh gosh, Myrtle, all right, you can eat that. So she likes macaroni. Oh yes, yeah, she does. She likes macaroni. Okay, so now, gosh, I actually, I've not weighed anything, but blimey, I've got those proportions about right. Okay, so now, the sauce, which I will put, come on guys, you have to say, I've not measured any of this, and the ingredients. I've not tasted anything, I've not stuck my finger in any of this sauce, I don't know what it tastes like, I'm gonna wait till the end. So, there, I'm going to mash it in. Look at that creamy, cheesy, oatly sauce. Gosh, so excited, my dungarees are falling off. Okay. Oh, Myrtle's back in now. Are you back in, Mert? Have a good old look. There we go. And now, piece de resistance. I sprinkle grated cheese over the top. Grated cheese over the top. Grated cheese over the top. And into the oven. No oven glove, but an old tea towel. One, two, do you want to have a look? And now I wait. I wait for 20 minutes and let's see if it works. What shall I do? I'll go and play with Myrtle for a bit. bubbling away. Listen. Now for the big reveal. I know you're going to say, hang on a moment Jo, if you're, if you're actually concerned about your cholesterol, you've used butter and you've used cheese. Yes, but I've not used dairy milk. I've used only. So I am making an effort, aren't I? I mean, you know, I'm doing my best. And I want to see if this actually is as good as dairy milk. So, 
So, let me just see. It's going to be piping hot. Shall we play the tune? Will it swap? Will it swap? Will... I mean, listen, it looks, it looks like the real thing, doesn't it? And I'm going to do an honest, honest taste test here. Will it taste? My concern is because it's not dairy milk, it might taste clarty and just not right for mac and cheese. I'm going to be totally, totally honest because Oatly said, if it, if it doesn't, tell everyone it doesn't. So they won't try and do this. So let me just, it's going to be so hot. Um, take it from this one. Gosh, the consistency is good. Get a nice bit. Want a nice bit of crispiness and the sauce. Here we go. Okay, let's play the little jingle. Here we go with the jingle. Will it swap? They tried Oatly in place of dairy in their favorite recipe. Will it swap? Mm. Will it swap? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. I'm never allowed to make those noises on the radio because it's not fair on people listening, but you can see me. That is absolutely no word of a lie. Delicious. Here she comes. Mert, you can't have any. But I've just made two mac and cheese without using dairy milk. Fantastic. Right. I would say I'll leave the recipe, but um, this is <laughs> this is the recipe which I didn't even adhere to. Oh my goodness me. By the way, I took on the Will It Swap Challenge and you can have a look at other recipes. Just click on the link below. Find out everyone else that's made that swap. Have they been successful? And could you do it yourself? Just click on the link below. Oatly. Was that you? Was that you that did that? Myrtle? No, we're not doing it anymore. Was that you? You've destroyed my bank card, Mert. That means we don't eat. We don't eat, I can't buy food. Nothing for Myrtle, nothing for Joe. This is our means. This is our means of living. No. No, not having it anymore. No, no. Sit, sit. Show everyone that at least you know how to sit. You don't know how to turn left. You eat my bank card. Up, uh, Myrtle, up, up. And sit. That's the extent, isn't it? That's it. Uh, what are you looking for? There's nothing there to look for. You've eaten everything and chewed everything. I'd only gone downstairs to get a paper. That means no, that means we have to go without for a week. Do you feel sorry, Myrtle? Myrtle? Are you sorry? No. Not a good start. Not a good start. Not a good start to the week at all. all right hello everyone <laughs> I'm I'm about to go over to Kensington actually for a meeting but I just <clears throat> I just wanted to just have a word with you because um, I uh, you can see from my eyes I I've, I've been very emotional this morning because I am a, this isn't clickbait, I am overwhelmed by all of you. This is so indulgent and I don't want to fall into this YouTuber, let me talk about my emotions week in and week out. But I am o overwhelmed because you, all of you who follow me, I think without exception, appreciate what women of age deal with same with men actually I mean we all have a lot that we have to deal with and I at 67 
have had the, the most glittering career and ups and downs like every, everyone else in the media. The last two years have been difficult because anyone that follows, and I, this is not the platform to go into this, but anyone who follows my radio career will know that it has been very difficult for me. And I've always said, like everyone who ever leaves a negative comment, and people rush to protect me. I've always said, don't worry about me. I have been able to bounce back from so many things, which most women do by the time you get to my age. You have a sort of armor about you. Sorry, this, this noise is Myrtle. Um, Myrt, I'll just take that away from you for a moment. Um, so, so, I don't even know how much of this I'm gonna keep in, but I told all of you that Sheer Lux this online magazine had offered me a job to host a show for them. And it meant a lot to me because they are a magazine for young, amazingly hip, you know, people. Their office is incredible. It's full of extraordinary women, you know, and and all carving a career for themselves in that in that world of fashion, beauty, magazines. And to ask me was amazing. And I posted it on here and said, look, my big announcement is it's going live um, on, on Monday. And it did. And my agent, my friends were just, they would just text me going, Joe, have you seen the support for you under that um, live YouTube show of Sheer Lux? I, it literally blew me away, and it's you lot. It's you lot that just add it. You just you went and watched it, and with a hundred percent, a hundred percent of you gave a thumbs up and said well done. And also bravo to to Sheer Lux for for doing it, because I'm not their target demographic. Or am I? I mean, actually what happened was really interesting because a lot of people said how lovely to see women of age sitting chatting, but I was the oldest on that set. You know, I was talking to women, yes, who were in middle age, but not as old as me. But your support, I truly, uh, uh, you know, I, this is not an indulgent YouTube person sitting sobbing. I hold back tears like most people throughout life because that's how you get on with it. But I literally wept on Monday because I was so very grateful. So thank you, all of you. And um, you know, you support each other and you support me and oh my God, you know, this is a time for women of my age to just show what we've gone through and what we can deal with and what we can still offer in all walks of life not just showing off in front of a camera or a microphone in all walks of life so that's what i wanted to say god i'm so sorry let's press on and it'll be happier for the rest of the vlog but thank you from literally the bottom of my chubby little stomach heart thank you uh, uh, truly blew me away literally blew me away I've got over my emotional outburst and I'm in the back of a cab I'm very late for my meeting because um, the battery on my phone gave up my sat nav gave up Hair. and I went I turned out of the tube and went completely in the wrong direction so that was a false economy I'm now in a cab um, which is what is fail safe. I always end up in a black cat because you just trust them to get you there. Um, and so I'm late and you know what I'm like, I hate being late. I think this morning I've just got really <laughs> terribly emotional and flustered. But anyway, um, I phoned ahead so they know I'm gonna be late. Red lipstick usually sorts it out. Oh, I'm here, brilliant. Meeting went very, very well. 
and always when I come to Kensington High Street, um, I always <laughs> reward myself by coming into Whole Foods, possibly one of the most expensive food shops in London. But, I mean, it's just, oh, it's just, it's food porn, to be honest. Um, but I, what I'm going to do is actually buy myself a lunch, not bits, a lunch that I can take back and actually eat in my flat. Let's see what there is on offer. I got off and walk because there is so much traffic in Park Lane and um, I don't know it's it's autumn in Hyde Park look at this beautiful beautiful so I can't be caught speeding for once in Park Lane because I'm walking um, the old Dorchester is all boarded up well, I think they're doing refurbishment, but it's so weird to see the Dorchester like a building site. Um, in fact, I might cross past the Dorchester and cut through to Marylebone. But yeah, it was um, sitting on the bus. It's quicker for me to walk home. Here we go, crossing Park Lane. I'm racing is because it is the day for my cleaner and I want to go home and clean before my cleaner gets there. Um, I've left my flat in such a shambles. But yeah, look, there's the Dorchester. Completely boarded up in the, the front. It's obviously operating. Up. That guy is going to get a speeding ticket. Do these people not know it's 20 miles per hour? They'll all be caught speeding. This behind me was the very famous American Embassy now a building site is going to be turned into a massive luxury hotel but yeah that was the American Embassy the chow oh look at the chow chow yes yes he's beautiful <laughs> absolutely beautiful London dogs London parks beautiful day I need to get home before my cleaner opens the door and thinks I've been burgled. Seriously, it's that bad in my flat. I have a cleaner once every two weeks. And um, most of you, including I'm sure my mother, who has no idea I have a cleaner, she'd be absolutely appalled. Most of you would think, a one bedroom flat, surely you can clean that and keep it tidy. I truly can't. I'm so bad at cleaning. I don't enjoy it. I know some people absolutely love it. I don't enjoy it. And what she does is she makes everything look new. I mean, she lines all my white trainers up and I just fall in love with them all over again. And, you know, she's so, lo she's lovely. I'm not patronizing her. And um, I just love chatting to her. She's Brazilian and she's learning English from me which doesn't bode well. Anyway, I'm so late. So this is Audley Street, I think it is I'm in now. I'm cutting, I'm just by Selfridges, but I'm not going to take you through Selfridges.
Is this the only ID Asia? Uh, there's many. There's, oh, there's, there's three in London. There's oh. more in Brighton. Oh, oh, there's one in Brighton. I yeah. should know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. You, you look like amazing. Have a look inside? Um, Not today. Yeah, no, I'll come back. I'll all come right, back. Because right, I'm in a hurry. Enjoy Thank you. Day, yeah? Bye. Oh. Bye. So, <clears throat> they're all over the place. I truly thought that was the only one. Right, I am turning this off. And just like that, everything is spick and span. Look at it, every single tile. You could see your face in it. She has worked her magic. Hello, my love, did you miss me? Um, living room, perfect, but the best bit, everybody, look at the kitchen. It is immaculate. Immaculate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, even the washing up bowl. Everything is pristine. Oh, look at the toaster. Oh, sorry. It's just, you know, it won't be like this in two weeks. Um, Oh, it's so nice to put my cosy stuff on. So, um, yeah, I have a cleaner. I have a cleaner. Oh, I'm so tired. Right, stop moaning about being tired. I have something to eat and then get ready to go into work. is just one stem, one stem of a hydrangea. Uh, did I say hydrangea? I mean a hydrangea. So I am going to a birthday, a tea party, a tea party in Marylebone Lane because, do you remember, I actually took you into this shop once. It's a shop run by actresses called O Pioneer and they sell the most beautiful dresses out of Liberty Print. Um, some vintage, some, some li uh, vintage Liberty Print, some new Liberty Print. I mean, they mix the two. It's, they're, they're just standalone, their dresses, actually. And um, they haven't been in Marylebone Lane for three years, but they have been um, a company that's been running for three years hugely successfully. They are stopped in um, some of the biggest, most exclusive stores, but the, the Marylebone shop is um, their shop and it's lovely down there. So I'm taking this as a birthday present and I'm um, going to have tea uh, amongst beautiful dresses. And I thought I'd take you with me. I'm wearing my, if you can see, where can I? You've seen this dress, I love this. Price per wear, everybody, price per wear. It is Erdem. Do you remember when I bought this? Have a look, Erdem. And my Farfetch belt. Actually, I'm going to be doing um, another collaboration with Farfetch very soon. Watch this space because um, they've got a sale on and beautiful, beautiful pieces. But that's for another vlog. I am off to a birthday tea. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Oh my goodness!
Would you mind introducing our very special guest? Of course. So this is my mum, Diane. She started off knitting our jumpers and tank tops for us. She designs all the patterns on them. She does all of the kind of all of the knitting patterns, loads of the knitting. In fact, you never stop knitting, do you? Yeah, I never stop knitting. And is it Diane? Diane. Do you? I mean, what I love is that everything you knit, you will, like me, remember first time round. Yeah, yeah. And now it's very much back in fashion. Yeah, yeah. Mum was knitting when you were. How old did you start knitting? I'm gonna pop it here. Six. I was six years old when I started knitting. Wow. Oh my God. So she so she shows me photographs when she was really little with amazing jumpers. Yeah, yeah. How many styles do you have? So we've have? got maybe six or seven styles and each one, we've got a team of knitters now around the country. Each one is knitted individually by hand by one of our wonderful knitters that are around the country. Uh, Mum sets them up with the patterns and the colourways and how it's all supposed to be. So each one is a kind of one-off and it's we yeah. put the name of the knitter inside. Yes, I love that. So Kath knitted that one. Kath's one of our knitters. Oh my gosh, I just love them. And you see, this is a way of taking a summer dress into winter, isn't it? Isn't it clever? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you wear them, they, 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 you know, they're not seasonal, you can just wear them all year round. They're designed with quite a short waistline, so they go with our dresses which have got quite high waistline, so the designs go perfectly and allow them to come I've just been at, um, come around this side. She's been at a birthday party for a lovely dress shop. Oh, lovely. And there was cakes and a party hats oh. and champagne. Wow. It was lovely. And now I bet there's a rainbow because it's been raining, yeah. isn't it? It was pouring. Did you um, Yeah, I had to shut my windows. Earlier. Yeah. Oh I my gosh. It came all through my windows. But um, wow. it's a lovely blue sky I know, now. But, yeah, anyway. but you look lovely. I love your dress. Thank you. Thank you, this old thing. No. <laughs> Thank you. Right, I'll let you in, Sandra. Thank you. You are not going to believe this, everybody. Oh, they're in the sun. Look at that. I have literally just got back from the O Pioneers birthday party, and these were waiting for me when I came through the door. Look at these. They are stunning. Oh, and a card. Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle. What are we gonna say, eh? What are we gonna say? We put them there whilst we do the card. Let's do the card so everyone can see. Where can we put it so everyone can see it, Myrt? We do it here? Oh, we have to do it over here, Myrt, because of the sun. Do it over here because of the sun. Put the flowers. So let's put the flowers here. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Whoops, knocked the phone over in my excitement. I mean, a massive bunch of blue. Puts my one hydrangea in the shade. And, um,. Myrtle, this is the note that goes with it. What a, and it's sunny. As I said to Sandra, it has been raining and sunny all day. There'll be a rainbow, I'm sure there'll be a rainbow. Myrtle, don't use those. Little sachet to put in the water and a card. Exciting. Thank you for your wonderful start to the Gold Show. What a response. Georgie, Charlotte and Hodge. I don't... I can't get emotional again. Well, these... I should, I should be giving these to all of you, truly. I'm going to move this camera so I can talk to you properly. Sorry. I just, I truly didn't know who they were from. That's better. Um, well, I mean, 
That means so much to me. You know it means so much to me. But you know what means so much to me is they said, thank you for a wonderful start to the Sheer Lux show, the gold show. So maybe there might be more. If there is more, it's down to you. Truly, you made, you made that well received. Your response, your support for me, it's just it's extraordinary. What a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, and I'm going to end the vlog here holding these. Oh. I honestly, I just, I just, I'm not going to say any more in case it doesn't happen, but I'm hoping it's going to happen. And um, as I say, I owe it all to you. So enough of this. This is very indulgent and um, what you probably, why I moved this camera is because Myrtle has just thrown up a bit of bone. Not bone from her food, but a bit of bone that she, a rubber bone that she managed to destroy and she's just chucked it over the rug. And I've got an awful feeling that's all in shot. Oh, anyway, you, it, all of you who have dogs, it is in shot, isn't it? You're all used to it, I, I expect. So yes, thank you everybody. Thank you to all of you for um, your support. I will leave the link to Sheer Lux below. I will leave the link to Oatly below. Oatly, how fantastic was that collaboration? I mean, they are the most hip people ever. Um, their branding, their messages are amazing. Who else have I got to thank? Oh, I don't know. Everyone, thank you. No Dave this week. He will be back next week, but he watches and he reads his comments. Give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe. Look at all the links below to do with Sheer Lux and whatever else. <laughs> That's it. And here are our walking women this week. Have a great week. I'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Mert. Try and cover up the sick. Bye.